turn it around, oh, he'll turn it around. Jesus will turn it around, oh, he'll turn it around. What the devil did for man, Jesus turned it around for my good. Oh, yes, he will. I know he will.
Yes, he is. We honor him tonight. Amen. For he is the captain of our salvation. Yes. Hey, God. Uh -huh. Something is about to happen. Somebody came with a mind to give him the glory. Praise the close your mouth. Let's but if you can praise him, Lord, have mercy. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Jesus. We certainly honor praise the Lord. Amen. Our beautiful, illustrious Bishop Sarah Perry. Can we give God praise? Praise Mother and Zion. Praise the Lord. All of my full for tears tonight. We thank Amen. God for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Certainly to my brother. Amen. And I couldn't love him if we had the same mother even more. Pastor James Perry. Amen. God bless you, sir. All of you beautiful saints here in Shiloh. One more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of the saints that have come from the Way Church. Amen. Thank God for your support tonight. Amen. Certainly, last but not least, my girlfriend sitting there. Amen. Looking real good. Looking at her like, how in the world you expect me to preach tonight? You look at that beautiful. Preach, preach. Control myself. Preach, preach. Got it going on. 20 years later, still got it going on. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because during our Joy Fest conference, amen, earlier this month, praise the Lord, Bishop and some of the Sisters, praise the Lord, slipped in on us. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Praise the Lord, came by and yes. You know it's good to have somebody that'll come see about Amen. you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. But love is an action word. Oh my God. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when they came, they didn't come there and sit and look. It's like trying to figure out, okay, who and what. And who. <laughs> right, right. These folks really anointed. They went to dance. This one over here. Y'all can't take her with you no more. <laughs> We, we got one of them in our church. Yeah. We call them the church drunk. <laughs> we love the Lord tonight. Amen. Uh, but we're certainly glad to be here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I don't intend to hold you very long. In fact, First Lady done gave me the word that this can't mm. move my long way. Not tonight. All right. I know that's right. Obey those that have me the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there is a word from the Lord tonight. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Quickly, if you have your Bibles with you, I want to turn to Genesis. Praise the Lord, the 13th chapter. Genesis, the 13th chapter. Hallelujah. And I want to read verses. It's a little bit of reading, but I think we can make it happen. Amen. Uh, 
Genesis 13, verses 1 through 18. In the name of the Lord. To this awesome band back here playing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Listen, if you can't dance with that music, uh -huh. you just can't dance. You can't dance. You just, you just, you just, you just, you just make you through. Mm -hmm. You just don't even try. I find out sometimes that when God blesses us with good things, because we have it, sometimes mm -hmm. we tend to take it for granted. Yeah, yeah, we do. I went about 15 years without having a steady musician. Mm -hmm. So we were making melodies yeah. in our heart. All we right. were churching now. Oh, God, come on. The Lord, when he sent help. Uh -huh. you know that? I think I added about 25 more years to my life. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Genesis 13 and 1. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and locked with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And Lot also, which went with Abraham, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And Canaanite and Perizzite dwelt there in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray, from me. And if thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. And if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves one from another. And Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the city's plains, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked, and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, after Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes. And look the, from the place where thou art, northward, and southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed be numbered. Arise, walk through the land, in the length of it, and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent. And came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. Amen. A subject tonight, so that our hearts may be together, anointed to say goodbye. Anointed to say goodbye. Father, may we do no damage to your word. But speak that which is sound, which is right, which is true. Have your way in this place tonight. And we'll give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. On your way down, look at somebody and tell them, I'm anointed to say goodbye. I'm anointed to say goodbye. <laughs> you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> We are now in a new year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. In fact, praise our God, uh, we have just about finished up the first month 
Yes, it is. When you know it, we'll be singing Merry Christmas to you again. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, and for some of us, we have found ourselves, praise the Lord, in circles and cycles mm -hmm. of dysfunction. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And those cycles have not all been bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, you get a little dude here. You get a little manner. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And that's what keeps you in the cycle. Mm -hmm. Because you get satisfied. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yep. Jesus. With what that dysfunction mm -hmm. has given you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yet God mm -hmm. is calling you to more. Yes. Amen. Calling you to greater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And what we don't understand sometimes is your cycle of dysfunction many times don't have anything to do with you per se. All right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But sometimes it is who is in your camp. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> who is in your wow. circle. Yeah. Yeah. Who is your confidant. Preach. Mm -hmm. Who is your friend. Well. Jesus. Y'all don't like my talk. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah, you have an aching mm -hmm. <laughs> in your camp. Say that. Yeah. All right. Amen. And sometimes who you associate with, pray the Lord, yeah. can be as much as a hindrance mm -hmm. as even your very own disobedience. Breach. Amen. Right. Amen. God spoke to Abram. While he was in Ur, before he even went to Haran, mm -hmm. and said, I mm -hmm. want you to leave your father's house. Mm -hmm. I want you to leave your kindred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get out of your country. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Go to a land that I'm going to show you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. What we found out, and you can research this in the book of Acts, the seventh chapter, about verses 2 through 6. When Abram got the word, he got the word, mm -hmm. but his father, Terah, amen, and his brother Haran, uh -huh. hallelujah, and thank God, his nephew Lot, mm -hmm. a whole family started leaving to go to the new land. Man. Yeah. Well, you have to read it because if you don't, you'll miss it, praise the Lord. Know. The whole family went to go to this new place. All right. However, God had told Abram, you get out of your kindred. You get away from your father's house. Mm -hmm. I'm calling you and you alone. Mm. If you just read the Genesis account, it looks like, praise the Lord, that Abram was following his father, Terah. But if you read the Acts account, you'll understand that God had first spoken, mm -hmm. hallelujah, to Abram. All right, all right. And these folk, praise the Lord, <coughs> begin to journey with him. Mm -hmm. Now, the God that I serve gives specific direction. That's right. All right. And if he tells you to do something, he wants you to do it exactly, exactly. like he told you to do it. That's it. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. And because... Praise the Lord. All of these cats went with him. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. He was on his way to the new land of Canaan. Uh -huh. Got stuck in a place called Haran. Uh -huh. And Haran signifies a place of delay. Mm. Yeah. Some of you are delayed from your miracle mm. and your blessing yeah. because you took somebody along that God didn't what? call them to go with what? you. <laughs> Y'all don't like my talk, Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. You're stuck in delay because you tried to bring everybody along, but Preach. I got a word for you. You can't bring everybody okay. all the time. Nope. Right. Everybody can't handle the weight of glory that is on your life. Amen. Everybody is not suited for the weight of glory that is on your life. 
If you're single, you got to be careful who you marry. Well, because if God's hand of anointing is on you, that anointing could consume the wrong person. Wow. Y'all don't like my talk up in here. Oh. Hallelujah. You got to know, amen, who you are and whose you are, and you got to be able to follow the direction of God. Yes, sir. Amen. Preach. Thank you. Amen. And they ended up being in a place of delay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How in the world did I get here? And why can't I seem to get unstuck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had to wait until his daddy died. Mm -hmm. He had to wait until his brother died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All them folk that died looked like he would have said, you know, Lot, you stay here in Haran. Uh -huh. We'll go back to earth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. While I go to where God told me to go. Uh -huh. But sometimes how we are sometimes, we just, we got a big heart. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want y'all to understand that sometimes it's okay to be selfish spiritually. Uh -huh. Because yes. let me tell you something. Everything that attaches itself with you, is not there to be a blessing to you. Mm, show yeah. right. Show Some right. things have come yes. to build a platform off of your anointing. Oh. Yes. Preach. I'm going to talk tonight. Preach. I, I, might, I might moan. I might just talk. Praise the Lord. All right. <laughs> so there, there are some people that join up with you because they want to build something on your platform. Come on here. Mm. Hallelujah. And, and they come in right humble. You uh -huh, know, uh -huh. Like, you know, all I, I'd just rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. Uh -huh. I, I, don't even have to, I don't have to be nothing special. You watch them folks. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord because them is the ones that make, give them a mic. You'll find out how much <laughs> they want. Y'all quiet. Yep. Yeah. You got praise it right. the Lord. But Abram, praise the Lord, mm -hmm. takes Lot with him. <laughs> Down into Canaan. Mm -hmm. All right. When it gets the Canaan land, God started blessing him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that he was very rich yeah. in silver, mm -hmm. gold, cattle. Mm -hmm. Listen, our father of the faith was not a broke man. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, his wealth was so eminent it hadn't been spent all today. We are the recipients of his wealth. Amen. You living like a poor papa because you have not accessed the wealth of Abraham. All right. You are Abraham's seed. You are a joint heir. Y'all don't like my talk. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's right. And so, praise the Lord, he starts getting blessed. Uh -huh. And God is moving in his life. And then, Lot gets blessed. Yeah. And I call it the lot principle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you stick with a blessed uh -huh. uh, 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 man or woman of God, you, mm -hmm. you stick with somebody that's blessed. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. You are bound to get the residual effects uh -huh. of the blessing falling on your life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That, 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 that's a, a praise the Lord a nugget right there. Yeah. Yes, it is. The closer you follow, praise the Lord, the man of God, the closer you're going to have some blessings fall in your life. Uh -huh. right. Some doors will come open for you because doors came open for them. Yeah. Yeah. The closer you follow them, the more you'll see the hand of God in your life. That's mm -hmm. right. You folk that like to stand off and judge and criticize and say, I'm not brown nosing no preacher. I'm not Preach. following. That's why you broke. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right. That's why nothing new is happening for you because you're not in close proximity. Come on here. Well, God is going to bless me like he's going to bless me all. They have been called blessed. Uh-huh. And he said, them that bless you, I'm going to bless them. Well. Them that curse you, I'm going to curse them. So when you are in proximity close to the blessed person, it has a way of fighting. This is what happened to God. Lot got blessed. Yes, he did. Lot was blessed because yes. he was with the man of God. Uh -huh. Lot was blessed. Lot was rich. That's right. All right now. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. God didn't promise Lot anything. Uh -huh. He told Abraham to leave him back. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But because he was in the proximity My of Lord. the man of God, he experienced blessing. My Lord. 
Amen. You know you have an anointed servant of God in your midst. You better stay as close as you possibly can. Amen. Don't you let nothing separate you from you and your bread. That's right. Preach, Elder Scott. Preach. Hallelujah. Don't you let being uh, egotistical, praise the Lord, glory to God, cause you to be separated from the blessing plan that God got for you. All right now. Preach. Something happened. Go ahead. Go ahead. This man <coughs> got blessed. Lord, I preach. He got blessed, praise the Lord. His stuff started growing. Uh huh. Yeah. And there's a saying two sets of grown folk can't live in the same Show house. Sure can. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Mm -mm. At least, at least not in my house anyway. <laughs> no, that's right. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And praise the Lord. All of a sudden, now that Lot, praise the Lord, is experiencing some growth and blessings and riches, his herdmen mm -hmm. begin to argue mm -hmm. and strive with Abram's herdsmen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. And the Perizzites, praise the Lord, and the Hittites and what have you, are all around watching uh, this squall, praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And Abram sees what is going on. Mm -hmm. And he now, mind you now, Abram was the older one. Mm -hmm. Lot should have went out of respect mm -hmm. to the older one. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes the young folk don't have, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, enough respect. Talk. Talk. Enough understanding that yeah. being here, praise the Lord, was first. Yeah. Yeah. There are some things you are not going to be blessed by disrespecting your elders. Amen. Okay, how educated you are. That's it. I don't care how enlightened you think you are. Amen. You are cursing your own self. <laughs> yes, you are. Pray the Lord. The Lord loves you. Yeah. The Lord will bless you, but you will go through hell first. Amen. Until you learn how to humble yourself. That's it. You don't know what you think you know. Amen. Sure don't. The person that you disrespect, they're the one that are praying over your life. Amen. To make sure that old Mark don't come and kick you in the behind. Ain't that what they used to say? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. But Abram goes to Lot mm -hmm. and said, listen, we ain't going to fight. Mm. We're brethren. Amen. Lord, I praise you. I tell you what you do. Well, let's just separate. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the best way the best. to get hell out your house mm -hmm. is to put it out. Yeah. Preach in here. Preach. Preach. Sometimes the best way to make your circle work right. Yes, sir. Is to find the one that's raising it. Mm -hmm. And say it's time for us to be saved. Time for you to go. Yes. How can two walk together? Let's say Unless we be agreed. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And he says, you know, I'm so confident in my God. Mm -hmm. That I'm not even going to fight over which direction we're going. Yeah. I'm going to let you have first choice. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you have first choice of uh -huh. where to go. Uh -huh. And quite naturally, the younger man looked at the good looking place. Uh -huh. yes. And he chose that. Yeah. He pitched his tip, his tip, praise the Lord, uh -huh. towards Sodom mm -hmm. and Gomorrah. Uh -huh. And that already has a negative foreboding. That's right. Y'all don't like my talk. Amen. Something's going to happen. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. The same one that he had strife with at some point had to end up coming and rescuing him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because he made the wrong decision. Yeah. All right. But God had already promised Abraham, mm -hmm. and I'm going to bless you. Yeah. And I'm going to bless you to be a blessing. Uh -huh. And every place that the sole of your foot tread, hallelujah, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, praise the Lord, when he told him goodbye, praise the Lord, hallelujah, all of a sudden, God has a conversation with Abram that he didn't have as long as Lot was with him. Amen. Oh, yeah. We understood that Abram and his wife were barren. Uh -huh. Oh, boy, I'm preaching now. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. They were barren because she couldn't have. She, as pretty as she was, she couldn't have nothing. Wow. 
It's okay to be pretty, but you want to be a producer. Well, are right. oh, y'all understanding what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Praise the Lord, glory to God. And, and, and so she couldn't have a child. Praise uh -huh. the Lord. Right. And God never visited him. Praise the Lord. He told him one day that Hallelujah, if you can just count the stars, Hallelujah, then your seed can be counted. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But at this point in time, he has not. Praise the Lord, had a child. Right. Nor has God given him the promise of the land of Canaan. Yet. Uh -huh. He just had told him to go to a place that I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. It was when he said goodbye to Lot mm -hmm. that the Lord said, now that you have made the necessary adjustments, uh -huh. come on up out of this uh -huh. tent here. I got something yeah. that I want to show you. I want you to look at all of this land out here. Uh -huh. I want you to look to the north. I want you to look to the south. I want you to look to the east and the west. Hallelujah. He said now if you man enough to walk on it, he said I'm God enough to give it to you. Hallelujah. I couldn't release this word in the presence of Lot. Hallelujah. Because you see the same way Lot got the blessing by being with you. If I would have let Lot stick with you, hallelujah, he would have got the land too. And I didn't promise to give him any land. Alright. Yeah. Look at somebody say you can't take everybody can't everywhere. Take everybody everywhere. I'm teaching y'all some principles. Yes, Don't you, know you got friends. Hallelujah. That, that you're always opening up doors for. Uh -huh. You're always making ways for them. Say so. Just because you have favor with that individual don't mean they have favor Free with that Scott. individual. Just Free. because somebody opened up a door and let you in don't mean you're supposed to let everybody That's in behind right. you. Because let me tell you something. Somebody will follow you behind a door and shut it and stop it up, praise the Lord. And you'll wonder why people stop calling on you. You'll wonder why folks stop blessing. Because whoever that ham sandwich is that you sit behind you, shut the doors up behind you. Yeah. It is so. It is so. Are oh, you understanding what I'm Amen. telling you? Hallelujah. It does not matter who it is. Yeah. You need to open up your eyes. Mm -hmm. You might have a lot mm -hmm. that you're dealing with. Wow. Preach up, Scott. Preach. You might have a lot in your camp. All right. How do I identify when I got a lot? Mm. Well, one mark of a lot <laughs> is in a season where you ought to be celebrating. Uh -huh. You're putting out fire. Come on. Preach on the stuff. Preach. In a season where it should be a time of rest and restoration, uh -huh. hallelujah, you find yourself, glory be to God, always trying to solve problems. Yeah. Always trying, praise the Lord. And let me tell you, just because everybody try to get close to you, don't mean that they are a disciple, praise God. Sometimes they're just a lot, praise God. Sometimes they smile in your face, trying to take your place. Hallelujah. When you leave them, you're always discouraged. I feel like preaching right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't have any courage because you've been encouraging them. And so you leave them discouraged. Hallelujah. Without power because they're draining you. They're draining your prophetic word. They're draining your anointing. They're like a weed to a flower. Glory to God, they're choking the life out of you. But you got to say, I'm anointed to say goodbye. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I dare you to slap somebody and say, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. Y'all ain't moving. Y'all ain't I'm saying anointed. I'm anointed. To say goodbye. say goodbye. Yes, I am. That last relationship that you were in, that took you through hell and high water, and you sitting somewhere disappointed and depressed, you want to use your anointing and say goodbye. So long. Goodbye. I got a date with my destiny, and I refuse to be stuck in limbo. I refuse to be stuck in Haran. I refuse to miss out on my blessing and miss out on my breakthrough. So long. Let nothing turn me around. Ah, 
charge to keep our health. Out of God, I got to glorify. Yes, look at me crazy if you want. I lay it out what I got going on. But the Lord is my life and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid of? Sir. Uh -huh. Because whenever I said goodbye to people, I felt like I was the failure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sometimes family, praise the Lord, got that hold on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, some of you need to cut some family members. Preach off. here. Preach. Uh, I know that's right. You might better cut them off before God decided to cut them well. off. Make your family members know God. Speak, Lord. Amen. Speak, Lord. Ah, Jesus. Hiya! It's time to cut them off when they keep going around that same circle. Uh huh. You're gonna lend them money. You're gonna pray them out. Lord have mercy. Sometimes they need an encounter with God for themselves. Yes, they they're trying to live off of your prayer. My Lord. They're trying to live off of your testimony. They need to meet God to themselves. Amen. And you need to go forward. That's it. This is a season of new church. What a word. Look at somebody say new. 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 I'm almost finished, praise the Lord. New. I think I've got the message tonight. Amen. I think I'm going to be knocking nobody out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. This is a season of new. Yes. This is a season of new. Oh, yes. This is a season of new. Yes. New. If it ain't new, it ain't God. It ain't God. If it ain't new, it ain't God. Somebody don't like what I'm telling you. But this is a season of new. And if it ain't new, it ain't God. Wave goodbye to the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And begin to walk in your new. Broken down your life. I know that. I know that. My pastor, my credit score is terrible. Yes. I can't hardly get nobody to lend me no money. Hallelujah. If I be a man of God, and I know that I am, we are under an open heaven. I say, hold on. We are under an open heaven. And the earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. Can I give a witness? Walk up to the car lot and get what you want. But yeah. well, let's say I get it. How am I going to pay for it? If you get it, God will pay the bill. If you get it, I shut If you get it,
to give them a break.
It's all time no more. <laughs> and then when you get some, some fresh musicians that ain't been, you ain't been around a while, they've been coming up with new stuff. I'm back there while you preaching, tell them I'm a fine. I'm all plug them because they're just coming up with stuff. I'm like, what the world? <laughs> but we thank God for him anointing the musicians. Amen. 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 We're not going to prolong. I, I, we got tomorrow night. We'll come back tomorrow night and we'll do it all over again and we'll do it higher. Thank you, man. Huh? Amen. Did y'all understand how many in here can drive a stick shift? Mm -mm. You can drive a straight drive. So all of y'all that can drive a straight drive, you understand when you're driving that you sometime would just shift into a whole nother gear. Jesus. I saw him tonight shift Come on, right in the middle of that that message and shift into another gear and go into overdrive. Huh? Shalom. Oh. Blessings have been proclaimed. I don't I don't Amen. know nothing else to tell you. And I I can't do nothing else. I I'm gonna split my wig and everything. I can't <laughs> And nothing else to tell you, we just blessed, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we can't take life with us. No. Huh? Mm. Right. huh? Right. Some people you just got to call. We thank God for that. I'll put it back in his hands so he might get you to say that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to have this mic back or not. Hallelujah, because I feel good down in my soul. Hallelujah. But know this, you have walked into your blessed sea. You walked into an open heaven. Go get your stuff. Go get your stuff. You ain't got to counsel about it. You ain't got to go on another 30 day fans. Go. Get your stuff. Now is the time. Yes. You may have gotten to know in the past. No, it's not for you right now. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Restoration is taking place. See, I told you I should have gotten Restoration is taking place. Restoration is different, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, than just getting paid back. Restoration, hallelujah, puts you back in the shape you were in before. And then with interest. Well, some of you, the enemy has fought you so hard and took some stuff from you. God says, I'm about to bless you with interest. And you know how interest works. The longer it takes to pay, uh -huh. the more you get paid in interest. Uh -huh. So it seemed like you've been waiting a long time. But what God was doing was allowing the interest to accrue. Uh -huh. So you're not just going to get double for your trouble. 
He says, I'm getting ready to shake the heavens. I'm getting ready to shake the earth. Y'all, 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 y'all. Somebody needed to hear that tonight. It's time to live on purpose. Don't die till it's time to die. Live. 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 So Thais, I see you walking a whole lot better than you were walking the last time. That's all right. Every step you take, take it. Get on, Shondam. Some people get healed instantly. Some get healed as they go along on the way. What you don't do is give up. What you don't do is stop. Don't give the devil the satisfaction of thinking he stopped you.
hands lifted. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest will abide henceforth now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hug somebody and tell